This is a thrilling conclusion and sequel. Jimmy Tells All, the Kid Nation exclusive by John Tr Hello, my hair is getting so large, it is acquiring its own gravity field and or sentience. This video is brought to you by <laughs> The Ridge Wallet. That's Ooh. right, the wallet that holds up to 12 cards as well as cash. With over 30,000 five-star reviews and a lifetime warranty to boot, they're the last wallet you'll ever have to buy. And best of all, they've got over 30 colors and styles to choose from so you can pick the one that's right for you. So if you're still using a bulky old wallet like this, why don't you head over to ridge.com slash JonTron and use code JonTron to save yourself 10% and get free worldwide shipping and returns. And not to mention, this beauty makes a perfect gift for Father's Day, which is coming up. Don't be a bad son or daughter. Oh, I always forget about it. <laughs> Last I did actually get my dad's Father's Day gift this year. Well, I forget it. I'm just like, oh crap, that's like tomorrow. And then I get something. I'm on JonTron. John took I a tried. plunge into the world of Jonathan Kosh and Kid Nation. Today, we catch up with Jimmy from New Hampshire to find out if he's still eight years old and to ask the hard-hitting questions. If you haven't watched part one, do so now or I'll scream. Link in the description below. That's the one. What may have seemed like the ending there was really just the beginning for us. We had to get down to the bottom of what actually happened at Kid Nation. And I'm very pleased to announce we have a very special guest joining us here today. So everyone, please put your hands together for Jimmy Flynn! Legend. Sorry, we gotta take precautions here. All right, it's gonna spray you down first, Jimmy. All right, sorry about this. It's for your own good. Okay, let's go. All right, Jimmy, just come on over this way. Have a seat over there. Thanks again for coming on. Of course, it's an honor, John. Oh, it's, 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 it's our pleasure, trust me. Look at you. Not you're all grown up. You're a big boy now. Yep. The fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> this is funny. This is serious. This is <laughs> it's great to yeah. have you here. Can I can yeah. I offer you anything uh, before we start? Which I'm gonna crack you a can of Bush's baked beans. Sure. Thanks. Nice. Sorry. Amazing. This, this this should hydrate you before Thank we. You. Start. Oh shit! Not the beans! Oh, sorry. So this is the real Jimmy. This is the real, he's really here. This is him. Uh, Jimmy, we have a lot of questions for you. I'm, I'm sure everyone watching at home, I'm sure everyone is curious. I'm curious, we're all curious, but we want to get the real scoop from somebody who's really there. You say your, um, uh, your memory's a bit fuzzy then, right? Yeah, it was 13 years ago, so a little bit fuzzy. Okay. Yeah, so you were eight uh, then and you are 21 now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just tell us, what we really want to know is, was it as real as it looks? So, so people didn't, un so they say no adults, I mean, they, they meant no parents. Obviously, there's cameramen and stuff. Right. People yeah. Thought, people thought there was no cameraman or anything like that. Like, there's, there's got to be film crew, there's got to be, like, a medical team potentially on standby. Like, there's got to be some sort of adult presence to handle basic show operations. That's what I was saying. I figured, people, the, I figured <laughs> the cameraman wasn't, a, like, like a toddler. <laughs> I wasn't a robot, yeah. <laughs> a robot, or I wouldn't even think a robot. I was thinking, like, a toddler, but... Oh. <laughs> Um, wait, so, so, so yeah, there's adults manning the stations, the cameras yes. and stuff. And every now and then they would, they would, they would, they would dictate some things you did. Like, I found a, so I was on the poor team, okay? The poor team? The poor team. Oh, the, you mean like the, the labor the class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we the, have that down here? <laughs> See? <laughs> there you were. The poor team. Oh, my God. Of feudalism. <laughs> That's you down there. See? You were there. Yep, I, I see that. Mm -hmm. You were right there in the labor class. I was one of the damn Jess. Yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Anyway, so you go on. Um, so yeah, so we, we got like, I don't know, it was like four or five buffalo nickels, which was the currency. Buffalo nickels? Buff they, were, they were just silver with buffaloes on them. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> currency of the Old West. <laughs> And I spent all my money in the candy shop and on root beer. I was, I, I was, I was yeah. So you, 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 were, you, were, you were going to a payday advance like right after that, weren't you? You were trying to get a welfare check. <laughs> yeah, I wanted you, you, were, you were waiting in the unemployment line. Yeah, I, I was, but Legend. And so I didn't have any money, but like, like for the most part, I spent all of it. And then you gotta save, the Jimmy. Camera, Come on. I, I didn't know what saving was. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was eight. I'm way too young for this. <laughs> And so they were, they, some of the cameramen were like, oh, look what we found here. And they would kick some dirt and they like, oh, it's a buffalo nickel. You should pick it. But they planted it probably. Oh, they know. just they just would like throw you more money? Yeah. So like, was it a real functioning economy? I mean, I, to, a, to an extent. Yeah. I mean, like I would go, I didn't even know we had a general store. I didn't know that. They didn't, they didn't communicate that with us. I just knew that there was a candy store and a soda shop. It sounds like they didn't clue you in on much then. Yeah. I, I also probably wasn't listening very well because uh, I, was, I was eight. <laughs> That's a mood. And I don't listen to <laughs> Jimmy, come on. Did they give you like food, 
uh, that wasn't shown, or did you really have to eat what they cooked? So for the most part, we ate what they cooked, and they had like it was horrible. What the kids cooked? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was shit. It was horrible. I knew it. Oh, oh, so they really oh. weren't feeding you. You had to they, feed they yourselves. Fed us, to my memory, they fed us one time, and it was after the big. One um, of the kids started to look real pale. Like yeah, his I foot was, yeah, started to after, numb. After, after the um, after, <laughs> <laughs> we got trench foot. No, yeah. After after the um, like the big event. We came back and and everywhere there was no time to cook because we did the event. And we were all like freezing because it was it was very cold. Oddly enough, it's cold in New Mexico at night, and so they yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's a desert. People, I feel like it's often like, oh yeah, desert equals hot, right? I mean, well, normally yes, it, it goes through extremes, right? So it may be you know blistering hot during the day, but at night it's gonna be just freezing. Fast, and it was this. I, I didn't like vegetables very much, but I remember it was, it was a, a weird, a weirdly cooked chicken breast, and then like this purple. I'm assuming it's cabbage now, but I didn't know what it was at the time. Some purple stuff. <laughs> purple stuff. And it wasn't good. Oh my god. I, didn't, I was. I did not eat very well. Because other than that, we had so we, the whole dusty pancakes and molasses syrup. So they really, they just said, children, make your own food, really eat it, and stay alive. And there's no problem with this. There, there, they, 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 one other intervention they had. They had people just walk around making sure you're hydrated. <laughs> they, they couldn't have people passing out, so okay, there was just, <laughs> that'd be bad for ratings. Yeah, <laughs> had this one assistant who was always giving me Gatorade. <laughs> oh, and they gave us this dust to brush your teeth. You had like little what? You do this, and you could have just picked it off the uh, ground. Dust? <laughs> well, it wasn't dust. It was a little canister with like powder that you'd probably fluoride powder, right? Maybe. Okay. Rub on your teeth and then so, spit. I guess the the main question is: to what degree was that really like just you versus the elements? How much intervention was there? Um, there, there was, there was enough just to get us by, but other than that, I didn't think there was a whole lot. Cause I, I, like I said, like, okay, so when I'm sleeping, I had, I had a mattress that was probably, probably this thick and then a blanket this, like, that was the thickness of this carpet. What? They really did that to you? I'm like, and then my, my pillow, I didn't have one, so I used my red puffy coat, I'd puff it up and use it as a pillow. And I had long hair, so I got cut in the zipper a few times. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so, but. Oh, it's the worst feeling. That must have been, like, legitimately scary for you a little bit, right? Yeah. Was it? I, yeah, I also shared it with like four or five other boys I just met. <laughs> so there was no way out of it until the first right, time yes, I meeting, yeah, right? Yeah, you were, you were forced for the first four Because I love how they're like, don't worry, this isn't some kind of crazy show. You can get off. <laughs> just, you got to wait like two weeks. Go through the trial like, period. That's really what they did, right? So that's not fake. You couldn't, you couldn't elect out. Not that I, I mean, if I like, if I really like... Threw a tantrum, they probably wouldn't. But I suppose like, you could have run in yeah. a different direction until they nobody had, found you. They had like a... a a wall of like security people, like like really far right. off, to like oh, yeah. make sure that no weird people or no animals. Like <laughs> no this. weird people. Yeah. It, was, it, was like, it was like it was like hands across America. Is that what it's called? The thing in the movement. I'm not sure. Something like that. But they literally had people like like surrounding the a town. A chain link like this. They were literally the chained, but they looked like they were. I huh. think I'd be concerned if a weird man just showed up at the border of a of a random ghost town. Yeah. I, uh, so wait, yeah, no. Did you like? Were there scorpions in there? I never saw a scorpion. I saw jackrabbits. A jackrabbit. That's and I, terrifying. And I tried to murder them. Oh, I Sorry, that. PETA, but I mean, like, <laughs> to a certain degree, you can't get all the scorpions out of the area. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't know if they put down the scorpion repellent. Pes I mean, it depends if scorpions are native to the area. I'd have to look at the actual location of the side bomb. But um, I, I, I didn't see anything. Did anybody see any critters that were dangerous? Not that I know of. I think that's what the people. I, when I actually, when we were out like jackrabbit hunting, we we can't. We, we weren't really far off the area, but like we had. Obviously, people like accompany us. We saw this. I remember seeing like cows and bulls, but they were tagged, so they like right. belonged to a farm. They weren't wild. Just wild they cows. Weren't, yeah, I don't know if you, I don't even know if there are wild cows. But. But very dangerous and a bit <laughs> rude, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, no, but the, the thing is, right? Because I was wondering. I was like, because they're making you sleep in these dusty old cabins with like, you know, the, probably space between the floorboards, right? Yeah. So, so I'm surprised you didn't come across any. I, I, I wasn't there very long, so maybe maybe there's some. I, I'm tales. curious. I'm curious <laughs> if anyone else, if anyone else from Kid Nation knows if there were critters in or around your area, I want to know. That we'll that, that was that was a legitimate thing that I was wondering about. So you had to feed yourselves. You really were pretty much open to the elements. Like, was that was it insulated? Was it cold at night in there? Oh, it was freezing. I because yeah, it was really they really cold. They didn't even keep you warm. You I only shivered. Hit. I shivered every night. You shivered. Yes. They really genuinely put, like, I, because, I, like, the thing is, I'm just trying to figure out where the line between reality TV and they really are put. They had to have gotten some sort of, like, pushback on this, right? The studio that did this, the, the, the stations that aired this, they had to have gotten pushback on this, right? The kid 
in nature. It was pretty, all right, so we had these, yeah, we had these crappy old houses, and then they, were, they, put, they stuffed like six of us in there. Tiny, mat, like thin mattresses, very thin blankets. In the middle of the night in Mexico, it's freezing. I would like, I'd have to wear like full clothing. I wouldn't be able to go in like PJs. I had, wow. I had like sweatpants and that, stuff. I feel like there were a couple times at camp like that, but it was always like a little bit monitored. On the bus, when you're, when you're all coming in, yes. did they tell you where you were going? No, that bus ride was like two hours and we had no idea. I remember I was just in, so we, we were at Santa on the random New Mexico um, hotel. And I was on the bus. I remember just like, I was on the, like the window seat. And I was, yeah, I was like looking out the window. And I saw my mom and my sister and we just like drove away. And I was like, shit, this is real. And then like, wow, I have no, and then we drove forever and they never told it. They were like, whose idea was it for you two to get on this show? Go on the show? Um, I think it was like my mom's. I mean, like we, I was kind of interested in acting when I was little. And so I auditioned for this, like the new role, but well, I was going to have to do any acting. I didn't, little did I know. <laughs> and so I, th we went to, um, and I auditioned in Boston, and like they were like, oh, we like you, but you're too young. And that was when I was seven, so it was a year oh, before. Oh, right. And then the next year, they were like, oh, I guess we, I guess I still liked me. So they were like, you're one year older, so you're better now. Well, they called your mom up and said, we got the perfect role for him. We're going to strand him in a random location. You can't come. Yes. If you call the police, we'll come for you. We have people. You got a call from like an acting agency uh, to your mom, and you were trying to do acting. You weren't like, I'm so ready for this, this social experiment. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was more into the playing a character and right, like, yeah. being in a nice movie set like this or something. Oh, and then You didn't know, you, thank you by the way for instead, saying this is a nice movie set here in my actual basement. <laughs> no, <laughs> it is pretty sick though, isn't it? Sick. Yeah, it's sick. It's a yeah, sick yeah, movie it set. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but yeah, so you, you weren't trying to get in a social experiment. Like, did you know that it was gonna be like real, real? Or did you think this was gonna be fake? Like, what was the, imp when you got off the bus, did everybody suddenly realize it's more real than they thought? I, oh, I, like, I, I mean, I went in with like a whole, Different idea. Like I was like, oh, I want to be like coolest kid, oh. basket. I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna have a fun time. Like I was expecting it to be more like an adventure. Like oh, it's gonna be fun. Right. No like parents, let's like drink root beer until like midnight. No one can tell us our bedtime kind of thing. I was like, oh, it's great. I got there. It was horrible. Right, right, right. <laughs> and then reality sets in. Right, right. If I were a kid, I think I would think the same thing. Like, did you have any concept at that age of like, oh, it's reality TV, but it's probably not going to be like totally real. So I grew up watching Survivor. Like my parents and my right. family would always watch it. And that seems very authentic. So I was like, oh, it's going to be like a kid Survivor. But like there was a decent amount of intervention. And I think it was mainly because it was just like everywhere you turn, there was a camera. And it's something you don't yeah. really realize when you're watching. Yeah. Is that when right. you're actually there, there's like, yeah cameramen everywhere. So what did your parents think of this whole thing? I mean, so in the beginning, they were all for it because it, it sounds like a you know, a cool adventure. Like, oh, he's going to go out. Like, it, it sounded right. like a, a little bit more extreme summer camp. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's what a lot of parents probably would have been pitched is, oh, it's just summer camp, but just extreme. Ooh, you'll be on TV, right? Oh, we're doing this thing. But they don't see these Lord of the Flies and they don't see parallels that could relate to George Orwell's Animal Farm. It was yeah, a lot of. worse. But when I came back, they, they were like... My mom was very glad that I came home because she didn't realize how much she would like miss me after right. Right. having to like leave her child in New Mexico and go back to New Hampshire. And how long were you there uh, from like from the time you got off the bus to the time you left? So I, okay, so the, so I was at Bonanza City for four days. Four days. And then when I left, I I don't I think it was like two or three days. Okay. I was in a hotel with one of like the PA. Uh, do you call them PAs? Is, uh, production assistant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One yeah. of the PAs. I was just like in a hotel with it. That sounds really bad. Let me. That does. Let me I'm gonna. <laughs> was he? We were too <laughs> you know, was he hands off? <laughs> Did he let you do what you wanted? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. It was two different hotel rooms. He was just like maybe brought me to like the mall. We like had a. We were having a fun time. Great guy. Hands Not off or hands on? Ha kind very of hands off. Okay. So has this like followed you? Did 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 your schoolmates find out about this and stuff? Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. I feel like I was the only kid from New Hampshire on it, so like it was oh. talk of the town. Right. Yeah, it aired in my fourth grade. Everyone was like fine with it. And then I think yeah. as we got older and we got into that prepubescent, like. <laughs> prepubescent <laughs> dog life! I got a lot of backlash from it. Right. A lot of, yeah. Uh, backlash? I don't understand. See, whenever I hear about this, like, backlash from, like, wouldn't you think people would be like, oh, that's Jimmy! The, the sick kid from Kennedy. It was like, ah, like, oh, you're oh, a. Oh, you bitch. got put in the It's because he left first, is why people would pick on him. by producers. Like, what? Why, yeah. why would they make fun of you for that? Because I, because I left early and I cried, and they're like, I don't, I don't cry. cry. You were eight. As if they would do better as an eight-year-old in that situation. They forget this. People don't cry. Apparently, I'm the only person that cries. You were not the only <laughs> in the episode that I watched. Play the clip. 
Look at all them crying. Everyone cried. They all. That's what I was gonna say. That's how I felt like I knew this was real. Like half the. Half the kids break down eventually. <laughs> and I'm like, that's what I really want to know. That one scene where, you, do you remember there's a scene where you're just crying somewhere? In like, the in the back of a barn. Did you yes. really run away? I actually did run away. And then the producers, or the Karen, found me like, hey, Jimmy, can we can we film you? He did. That's what I said. <laughs> I made fun of it. It's really. That is just a genuine shot. It is a genuine shot. That's what happened? He came up to He's just like, yeah, give me more of that. <laughs> well, they, they asked, like, do you mind if we film you? Like, this would be pretty good. And I was like. <laughs> this will okay. be good. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was like, this will be good. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, I know you have no concept of anything. Awful. Your prefrontal cortex hasn't even grown in yet. <laughs> this is gonna be great for ratings. <laughs> Can you keep the waterworks coming? I was like, whatever it takes. Honestly, what? What? Because I joked about that, but I'm like, because my feeling was, you filming an eight-year-old crying, it's not, it's not fake. No, you can't no, be like, no. like Haley Joel Osment when you see him crying on an AI or whatever movie when he's a kid actor, you're like, okay, so he learned to cry. But when a kid's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, jeez. Yeah. I couldn't believe there, There's a degree of, there's, there's a difference. Maybe you can just sit there and be like, because like silently like. Yeah, heart, kind of heartless. So were there any like, was there a fallout from this? Was there like a lawsuit or anything? Um, I did not sue them, but they were sued a bunch of times. So kids kid drink bleach. Jimmy, this is the first I've heard of that. So I'm glad you're here to tell me about so, it. So, so you go ahead and tell us about the bleach. Yeah. So well, I was not there for that part, but you know, kids don't know how to clean things very well. So they're like, ah, this is a dirty glass. Bleach. You mean they ble they wash the it's, glass? They instead of washing it with soap and water, or just hot water, they used bleach to clean it. And then drank from it. And then they didn't wash it out very well. Next next glass. Did they get Nine, sick? Did they get the sick? The ambulance came. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Look, I have no room to talk because I've worked with people that mix bleach and, and floor cleaner together. Like, I've told this on stream before. Just, I used to work with a coworker in a kitchen. And he's like, oh, well, I'm having a little trouble getting this off. I'll just put some elbow, elbow grease into it. The floor cleaner's fine. And he's like, yeah, I mixed that floor cleaner. He comes back like 20 minutes later. Yeah, I mixed the floor cleaner with some bleach. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it worked a lot better. And me and the chef just kind of stared at each other. We're like, there's no, there's no way. There's no way that man just mixed floor cleaner and bleach. There's no fucking way. But he did. I've worked with these people. Mm -hmm. But like, was it like a real reaction from drinking bleach? Or I mean, was yeah. It, or was it a preventative ambulance? I mean, there's no there's no way you feel good after drinking bleach. Wow. Another girl got burnt, like, like got really, burnt? I, not, I don't know how bad, but she had oil burns when she, she was cooking. her face? Um, maybe. Probably, hopefully, maybe. Oh, well, probably not. you haven't seen it, so maybe yeah. it's okay. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. So, so she got burnt how? She was cooking, and she, and, Again, kids don't know how to cook, so they're, they're like, oh, like, I need at least three cups of oil in this pan. Oh, and, and so it they, like, sizzles out. <laughs> yeah. Three cups of oil, oh my god, what are you deep frying? Yeah. It's not deep frying it, they just were trying to cook it, like, oh sizzled out. Yeah. And I think, pretty sure they got they got sued for that. They, Those they, are the only two I know Because of. I've never heard of it, and when you try to buy this thing online, there's one clip of this show online. Mm -hmm. we everywhere that it's listed, you can't buy it, it's not for sale, I assume... The lawsuits took. They try to bury this thing. Yeah, I think so too. But they gave. All I mean, doesn't it? Doesn't Xbox try to bury that one? Uh, what is it? It's 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 not Uno. You know, it's the Xbox quiz game, but you have the chick that's seventeen, in the the one mini game, and so that that Xbox game is now banned, but you still find it on eBay for like hundreds. I watched a vi I, what video did I watch on it? I think it was a. What a young gay video. But, like, it, similarly, you'll get companies that are caught with stuff like this, and they're just like, yeah, let's just bury this. All of the, all, well, at least me. I shouldn't speak to everybody else. They gave me a DVD of every episode, so I have all of them. Okay, was there really Nutty. one bathroom only? Yes. Well, for the guys, no, because I peed behind every, almost wherever every you Yeah, I peed wherever I wanted. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Wait, so there. was there really just one house for 40 kids? Yes, yeah, so there. so it was actually right outside my room. And the funny uh, thing was, if I woke up, there was a line of like 20 kids waiting to use the outhouse. And I didn't like So that's really real. <laughs> that's really real. Because I was wondering, I'm like, 40 kids? Yeah. 40 kids, one outhouse? There's going to be a line. The math shows the line. Yeah. And there was 20 kids waiting for the one outhouse. Mm-hmm. That's why I, I peed outside for the most part. Jimmy, see, you really were the smartest one. Uh, yeah, and then I also... Girls have a bit of a problem with that, just getting... 
<laughs> how, how does a girl pee on the outside? <laughs> on the side of the house? Oh my god, I, I feel like there's gonna be a reaction to that if there isn't already. This guy, that that's comedy gold react content. Sorry, I didn't mean to spray you there. <laughs> I gotta just ask one more time. One, there was, there was no other way. There was no other way to relieve oneself. No, and I did not defecate while I you was didn't. there. <laughs> didn't eat enough too, like realistically, right? His, if he didn't eat as much as he needed to, he's not gonna need to fucking shit behind a bush or something. <laughs> Jimmy, you didn't you didn't drop the kid. Your, I was, your parents dropped their kids off, but you didn't drop your kids off at I, any pool. I, I, I saw the outhouse. I saw a girl come out. I went in, and, you know, and I just saw a lot of poop. Yeah. And I was like, I can't you do saw this. saw a lot of poop. <laughs> so it's wild. You work in a fertilizer plant for like a two weeks. Man, that shit stacks up. You got out. I just it, did it not go. open. You saw the scene. You saw the you saw the crime scene. You tried, <laughs> you tried to bleach it from your mind. Not. Not literally this time. Wait, so can you just expand on the statement, I saw a lot of poop? I was afraid that if I sat down, it would go in me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you'd get more up in there. Yeah. And I don't want uh, Not inaccurate with some out, with some porta potties I've seen. Nothing that happened. God so I knows was like, you have enough boiling up inside. And so I just, I was like, I can't do you this. You don't need an insert. I can't do this, man. I can't do it. Fishing. <laughs> now I look back, I don't know who would ever empty it. So like, it would literally just pile up. So nobody emptied it. I don't think so, because when I when I went in, it was kind of a tower. It was a nice. tower. Nice. Nice. I was wondering, like, if this really nice. was. So they genuinely were like, "Do you want to watch cartoons, kids, or would you like to have sanitation?" D did you guys take showers? So, for the first three days, we did not take a shower. But after our big like event, when it had like all the wa colored water all over us, then we took a shower for like. Where, where were those showers? They had them in like little trailers. So they okay. could have brought you more porta potties. Yes. They just didn't <laughs> wanna. They give them just enough for the content and to sow discord. Yes. <laughs> they wanted to torture you on purpose. Yeah. Yes. Did Jonathan Karsh have Allegedly. his own uh, bathroom? I think he had his own trailer. Pretty sure. He probably had his own trailer. Probably just watching all this unfolding. It's like, oh man, this would be great for fucking radio. A nice luxury bed. Okay. <laughs> I gotta I gotta ask you about Jonathan Karsh. Mm-hmm. It's creepy, strange alien lizard man, isn't he? I think it was. <laughs> nice. You think he was a reptilioid? Because nice. whenever he... He's a reptoid confirmed, allegedly. He was talking to you guys. He was very direct. He was just like, you are looking like easy pickings down there. <laughs> yeah, he would repeat the same lines over and over again because it would be like, oh, that take wasn't good enough. So he, he really? was very robotic. He'd be like, in our town's objective is this. And then they'd be like, okay, right, say it again. Then he would say, in our town's objective. So he would repeat things over and over. Just, just recording things. Okay, so we were really like, yo... What the fuck's You're going like, wrong with this guy? Is this guy, like, broken? Yeah. <laughs> it always kind of looked like he was talking at you, not really to you. Oh, he definitely was. That was I mean, also, like, when I left, he just, like, towered over me. He was... He, he was just, like, looking down. He was like, bye, bitch. <laughs> That's how... One of the... There was a few things... Because we do media. We know certain tricks of the trade. And I, I noticed certain things that were, like, you could not fake. Like, you were looking up at this towering man, like... You're giving him this kind of look, and I'm like, my God, Jimmy's truly like in awe. Because normally, like at that age, adults talk to you kind of in a different way. They maybe get yeah. down to your level and try to have a conversation. Yeah. Nah. But he's just like <laughs> power figure. Well, I guess you're leaving, little boy. <laughs> the door is that way. It was weird. I really thought it was weird. Were you creeped out by him? I was. I was. A little, I, I didn't feel safe around him. I'll say that. <laughs> he got it from the source. <laughs> he didn't feel safe around Jay Karsh, the king. I don't know if you saw. Here, give me that. We put him right. That's where he was in the feudal economy. He was right there. He was king. J card. We got, I call him J card. I wonder if this man he got another gig or if he got another show he hosted. Like this sounds like this would be an absolute train wreck. There, there, there were there had to have been meetings, potentially at a corporate level about this. What did you What did you guys call him? I didn't know his name. You didn't know his name? <laughs> that, that man. <laughs> that that specter that shows up, big man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and taunts me with stars. So they didn't tell you about the star uh, until you well, you didn't know about it until you left. I I think I knew about it like on the flight home because I I because when I went in, I was my mom alluded to the idea like oh maybe you'll be able to win money. So they might I, they might have told, told her. her. I, I, I'm gonna confront Jimmy. her about that. How'd you feel when you found out you uh, you lost a chance at the star without even knowing? I was I, I was I was a little bit pissed. I was like because they didn't tell it. I, I, 
I don't know if that would have kept me around, but it certainly would have had a fact. It would, it would have had yeah. a push to make me stay. Right. I, 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 we wondered that because you walked out, and then he's like, "All right, here it is." Yeah, I didn't know until like a few days later. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Excuse you. It's crazy. Do you know what happened to Jared what? three years before that day? Today has been the worst day in three years. I'm just <laughs> I've been wondering that myself because I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, I'm worried for him. I don't know what happened three years ago. <laughs> Something really bad happened Something to really him. Something really bad happened to him. Yeah, and so I'm, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> so, you, you, so you said you were on the news about it? Yeah, yeah. So, so I went on when I was eight, but it, year, it aired a year later. And so I was on the news, like, or there were like some fucking news channel, like, like around the time it was aired. And they were like, oh, you know, we feel bad. You, you, you missed out on your chance to win a gold star. So we got you one for you the studio. To- and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna get money. Oh, I was like, look at this. I was like, wow. Oh, th- that one's rounded. It's not even, doesn't even look And it's like also a paperweight that I accidentally broke. <laughs> oh, it's nice. a paperweight. You, nice. How do you break it? Enraged. <laughs> that people, people keep screwing me over. I'm just a little boy. <laughs> I mean, that's what it was. But yeah, I, this is probably worth, you know, $7. I, I, could, I, I, could, I could see that at least. You could probably get it for $5.99 on Amazon. Maybe yeah. not these days. That doesn't even look like the same kind of star. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. It's, it's kind, of, kind of small. Small. <laughs> so, what are you up to these days? What have you uh, What have you gotten up to? I'm going out to medical school in the fall. Medical nice. school. Nice. He's going to save lives. See, that's what happens to people who go through traumatic life events. So, so you're going to medical school for what kind of what kind of, what field? I'm not sure yet. Um, I th- I'm thinking like oncology right now, but I mean, it's probably gonna change. Oncology. What's oncology? Cancer. Ca- <laughs> okay, I don't ever do this. I don't no. ever do this. I'm gonna pretend I knew what oncology was. Cause I don't want to look that dumb. <laughs> I know what most fields are. I didn't know the cancer field was called oncology. It's a weird name. It's uh, a really weird name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Jimmy, what field are you going into? Um, right now I think I'm gonna go into oncology. Oncology. For all those of you who don't know, that's the cancer one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh God, I gotta start using that around medical friends. <laughs> I. I knew that. <laughs> I didn't ask off screen. So for, you should all feel stupid out there for not knowing that. Okay, so yeah, you're going into to the field for like research or actual uh, surgery or. What I, kind I, of? I'm thinking like like, I hope probably both like like research and like clinical work like working with patients. Mm-hmm. Nice, brilliant. Well, Jimmy, you seem like you're, you're a real nice, cool guy. Has anyone Thank ever you. described you that way? Told you that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever been nice to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> people, people are nice to me. Well, Jimmy, thank you so much for coming on. But before you leave, we've got a little something for you. We wanted to right this wrong, okay? And we wanted to finally give you that star we feel you deserved. That's right. Bring it out, boys. Oh, no. What's happening? What? Amazing. I love it. It's perfect. It's perfect. John's waiting intently. I was... <laughs> there we printer, go! Sorry. Printer make funny noise. Every programmer reaches for their crowbar. That's the best we can do. We're working with... We're out of magenta on the printer. We can't go out and get any. Everything, everything's closed. So here you go, Jimmy. How do you feel? There it is. That QR code. Did you scan that? One free Big Mac. No drink, though. I'm sorry. Let me, let me disinfect that for handing it over to you. Oh, God. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. All right. There it is for the big guy. <laughs> say. How do you feel, Jimmy? Complete. Complete. You get it. You scan. You scan that. You scan that code. Jontron made him whole. <laughs> sure, they didn't find the marker out there. One free Big Mac. No drink, though. I'm sorry. We gotta work with the times where, yeah, hold that up. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Wow. I wonder if the QR is actually Japes. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Thank you for, very much for having me, John. Sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I don't, I'm not an interviewer. So I just have one final question for you. Uh, what do you regret more, Kid Nation or John Tron? Oh. This has been a pretty shitty experience. Yeah, fuck you, dude. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Legend. God, that's... I just wanna know, I'll have
have to do some research and know how this actually ended. That was... That was wild. Oh my god, that was an experience of all time. Wow. Poor Jimmy.